Hello and welcome to Smith Shop Films. I'm Drew Smith. And if you're wondering which Insta360 camera is the best one to buy in 2022, you have found the right video. So what we're talking about here is the two main cameras that Insta360 has, which is the Insta360 ONE X2 and the Insta360 GO 2. Now these are two pretty different cameras, but they're both Insta cameras that have image stabilization, waterproof, things like that. But I'll tell you which one I think is the best one to buy in 2022. I'll tell you the pros and cons of both of these cameras so that you can have a good idea of which one you might wanna buy if you don't already have them. So first we'll start with the Insta360 GO 2 and my pro list for the Insta360 GO 2. Number one, is that it is small. Look how small this thing is. In fact, it's so small you can take it into many places where you are not allowed to bring a camera. In fact, this is the Insta360 GO 2. This is an iPod case, as you can see, basically, you know, almost the same size, right? And I've taken this into various places, into restaurants, into uh, theaters and things like that where you really can't take a big obvious cameras especially if you're doing some vlogging or something like that um, this camera is small it'll fit in your pocket it's not very noticeable when you bust it out everyone's not looking at you um, one of the great things about it is that it's so small I've actually taken it to the grocery store and shot a, a vlog on that and no one even knew that I had a camera there. And it comes with this great carrying case, which also charges the camera. And it's got these two little legs on the back and you got a little tripod there. And then the actual camera pops out as a magnetic back and you can hook it onto this magnetic pendant. Let me see it, yep, right there. So it's very portable, small, easy to use. So the next pro for the Insta360 GO 2 is the price. This is about $299, not too terribly expensive compared to some other action cameras. So price is definitely a pro for the GO 2. Okay, so talking about functions, uh, for the Go 2, it has lots of great function. It has a great wide angle. It has uh, flow state image stabilization, so your can't your footage is not all shaky when you when you film it. Okay, so now I want to tell you about what I think are some of the cons for the X2. The audio quality on it is not is not really that good. And um, once it gets wet, there's one little hole that it's recording, it's using for the microphone. And if you get any water into there, your sound is really gonna be very uh, jumbled up. Even the regular sound is not that, that good. This is what it sounds like through my microphone. And this is what it sounds like coming through the, the go-to. So yeah, sound is okay. The other con for the GoTo is that it has a very short recording, a very short recording time. Basically, it records for about 15 minutes at a time, so you really only can take small little chunks of video. Um, it will overheat pretty quickly, depending on how you're using it. If you're in and out of the water, the water kind of cools it off a little bit, so you might get a little bit more recording time, but usually only get about 15 minutes or so out of this max before it overheats, and then it just shuts off, and it shuts off without any warning. So that's kind of inconvenient for when you're trying to do some kind of filming with it. All right, so let's talk about my pros for the X2. So the Insta360 ONE X2 is a 360 camera. So it has the lenses that go all the way around. Now there's a blind spot in between where the selfie stick is at. And so the selfie stick basically disappears in your footage so you won't see it. Um, but because it's 360, it, it can film pretty much everything. You don't really miss your angles and you can get angles that you normally couldn't get if you're filming by yourself. 
So, and then in the app, in the 360, Insta360 app, you're able to reframe the video. You can track subjects in the video and do other things like that. The other thing is that this is 5.7K. So you got a great image quality, but low light performance is not so good. So you need a lot of light around it. It needs to be outside during the day, something like that. If it's very dark, it doesn't work quite as well. Now, one of the other pros of this is that it is a 360 video, so you can reframe it, which is great. If you are posting videos on TikTok, or on Instagram Reels or something like that. You can reframe the video to portrait mode or landscape, whatever you wanna do. If you're, if you're putting videos on YouTube, you can make it landscape and you can do all that from the same videos and you just reframe it inside of the app. So that's pretty cool. One of my favorite pros of the X2, the accessories. This is the selfie stick and it extends out and then it disappears inside of the video and i think that's a really cool feature you can also get a little tripod that goes on it and you just set this thing down and it's perfectly good um, there's also a bullet cam accessory which allows you to do these uh, spinning 360 kind of videos that look really cool and creative another pro of the x2 a longer recording length. So the battery length and the memory card space in this is much longer. So you can record, you know, probably 40 minutes to an hour or so before your battery gets, gets low on this, which works really great for whatever kind of videos that you're making. Okay, another pro of the X2 is that it's small, small and portable. This thing is pretty small and you can throw this in your pocket Throw it in your bag, pop it out, and um, record from it, and pretty easily, pretty quickly. Another pro of the X2 is that it is waterproof up to 10 meters or 33 feet. I actually did a video on how to best use this camera in wet locations in water. So check out that link above if you wanna see more about how you take care of this camera if you already own it and you want to film underwater or at the beach or in some kind of wet location. So check out that video. Okay, and the last pro of the X2 is actually the app, the Insta360 app in Shot Labs. There's a lot more creative things that you can do with the X2 as opposed to the Go2. Just all kinds of cool video editing that um, is only available to the X2. All right, let's talk about some of the cons of the X2. Well, because it has these two lenses on both sides, there's not really a surface that you can kind of, you know, set this thing down without laying it actually on the lens, which is a very bad idea because these lenses will easily scratch. And I have personally gone through the pain of scratching this lens and then having to send it back and get it repaired. And you can check out that link above and you'll see that video and find out what happened if you actually end up scratching yours. Hopefully you won't. But these lenses are very easy to scratch and I often end up polishing them all the time because it's very easy to touch them and get a little fingerprint or something like that, which will affect your video. So what I suggest is that you get lens protectors. They have sticky ones that stick right on. You can also get the premium lens protectors and they go on top. And if you're wondering which one to get and what the difference is between them, check out these other video that I did on the premium lens guards. Another option for protecting the lens is actually a little plastic rubber cover like that and you put it on, then when you set your camera down, you won't scratch your lens. Here's another con of the X2, the price. So this is about $429 for just the camera. And that's a little bit higher price than the Go2. Um, so. You know, if, if you are considering and investing in one of these, if you don't already have it, there's actually some links in the description which you can use, which support this channel. But if you use those links, you'll get a free selfie stick, which is pretty much an essential 
piece, uh, uh, an essential accessory for using the X2. So check out those links in the description if you don't already have this camera. Okay, so my final analysis, which one do I think is the best to get in 2022? Well, I'm going to have to go with the X2. And there's a couple reasons why I think this is probably the best Insta360 camera to get in 2022. Um, number one is that it is a 360 camera and 360 content is going to be something that continues to become more and more popular. My son has the virtual reality glasses and um, a visor that you know you can watch 360 video with. That's going to be something that is going to continue to become more and more popular. Um, Facebook is doing the metaverse. Um, immersive content is going to continue to rise and this X2 can capture 360 video 360 photographs so that your viewer when they wear one of those goggles or using their smartphone smart device or something like that they can look all the way around the environment in 360 degrees and I think that is going to be something that's going to be fun and people are going to continue to do in 2022 and beyond the other reason I think that this is the best camera is that there's more creative possibilities with it. The Shot Lab app, uh, the Insta360 Shot Lab has lots of creative possibilities that you can do using only the X2. So that's something that's great for TikTok or for other uh, video platforms like Reels and things like that. And the, the last reason is that it does have a much longer record time. So that is a lot easier. You get more warning. I haven't had this thing overheat or anything like that and just kind of shut off, which is kind of a problem that I've had with the Go 2. So my question to you is if you have both of these cameras, which one is your favorite and why? And which one would you pick as the best camera to get in 2022? Let me know in the comments. Go ahead and, and put that in there because I'm really interested to see what you guys think are, is the best camera. And if you have not already done so, subscribe to this channel because I'm going to have more content like this. If you are new to using the X2, um, I will have tutorials and other videos like that that will show you just how to use it and get the most out of this camera. And if you learned something new in this video and you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. That helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay creative.